So you've decided to set up your Etsy shop and you like some Etsy shop basics, right? It can be super overwhelming when you first go to open up an Etsy store. So many different things to do. What do you do first? Don't forget to watch my previous video on what you should know before opening up your Etsy shop because this is going to give you all the preparation that you need to do before you hit Etsy and sign up. And don't forget as well, and you can get it below this video, I've got a little link that gives you 40 free listings if you're brand new to Etsy and you're about to set up your shop. So today's video is all about four key basics that are essential if you want to be successful on Etsy as an artist. So hello and welcome, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and I just love to help artists like you to set up, market and grow a highly successful, profitable art business doing what you love. And if learning more about growing a successful art business is what you like, you're in the right place because each week I put out videos with tips and tricks and how to's, all things related to building your art business. So make sure to hit subscribe and also that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So what are those four Etsy shop basics? I hear you cry. There are so many different videos out there on how to grow your shop, what to do, what not to do, the strategies, the not strategies, what you should do this month, that month, the other month. At the end of the day, it boils down, I believe, to four core things. Now, of course, there are a lot of other things to do as well, but if you can nail these four essentials, then I feel like you're really off to a great start. Number one is to fully optimize your shop profile. Now that might sound really obvious, but I see lots of Etsy shops that don't even have a banner and maybe have a name that doesn't look great and maybe no little bio underneath or a not very exciting little profile picture. Maybe it's a picture you think, what's that got to do with anything? Or perhaps it's set up and it looks good at the top, but there's no kind of story. You want to use all of Etsy's features, all right? This is super important. You want to fill out everything you possibly can. That's going to include that fabulous big banner that you've got as a big advertising space. So when people land on your shop, they can see immediately what you do, who you are, what you offer, and what the benefit of them purchasing from your shop is. So you want to use that banner space widely. Then you want to make sure that you've uploaded an on-brand logo, ideally into the little, you've got a little profile picture. So you could put a picture of you in there, but it's not really perhaps that relevant. What you want is a nice logo that's part of your brand because your Etsy shop needs to be branded. It needs to look cohesive. So if you haven't got a brand already, that's something that you want to get done for sure. So big banner, profile picture, and then that about section. There's an about section where you can write a bit about your story. You can upload some photographs behind the scenes where you make what you make. I think there's four photos and one video that you can put in there. And then write your story so that again, you are communicating with your ideal audience. Because when they land on there, they might wanna find out a bit about you. Well, who are you exactly? Where do you operate from? Are you a one-man band or do you have a team? Where is the product made that I'm going to buy? Are you just solely the artist? You make the product and, and they're going to buy it? Or is there a third party fulfillment company, for example? So people are really, really clear what it is you do, how much you do, what another company fulfills if you do print on demand. I think it's just really nice. Again, anything that can build trust between you and your customer is going to help them move towards a potential purchase. So Etsy shop basic number two is all about the listings. You have got to create amazing listings. And guess what it all starts with? The picture. We are all visual beings. When we go shopping, we're scrolling online and we need to see an image that pops out. It might be something about the color. It might be something about the mock-up that you've used. It might be that if you've got a print and you've put it in a room mock-up, that's exactly me, the customer, my taste of room. And I'm looking going, wow, that's just like my living room. That picture would look amazing there. That first picture that you choose has got to pop. It's got to stand out. It's got to be accurate. It's got to be really beautifully taken so that someone's going to go, I'm interested in that. And they click through and look at the rest of the listing. You've got up to 10 images that you can use, not just pictures of the product, but pictures of the product in use. Sometimes you want to use a graphic that's got more about the offers, you know, the, the, 
that's got more about the sizes or the options or perhaps you personalize it. Don't forget, not everybody reads the description. Some people are visual only. They're just going to scroll through the pictures. So make sure that you've got some images that really explain what it is, who you are, and what you can offer the customer as well. Then there's the title, super, super, super important. That's not the title of your picture. If you're putting a picture up there, that's an Etsy SEO. We're going to come to that in a moment. Keyworded title. So you know when you see those really long titles and you think that's full of words that I'm not really sure I understand, that's an Etsy title designed to show up in search when somebody is looking for something specific. So the title's got to be good, the description has got to tell the customer exactly what they're getting, how and when they're going to get it. And again, you can put keywords in there. And then there's filling out all the rest of the listing according to what category you go in and, and your tags and your attributes and all the things. So you want to allocate a good amount of time to get really amazing looking listings. All right, it's probably the biggest part of your Etsy shop is going to be creating amazing listings. Etsy shop basics number three. Oh yes, it's that SEO. So Etsy is famous for operating on search engine optimization, SEO for short. And so that's exactly where somebody goes and types something in, um, ocean abstract ocean art print. And then if your item is an exact match for that. So that's exactly what you offer. You want to make sure that that keyword is in your title, it's in your description, it's in your tags, it's everywhere it can possibly be and others associated to that. So once you can understand what people are searching for and there are various Etsy um, SEO tools and related tools that you can use to find out what people are searching for, hmm, there's a thought. So you can find out what they're searching for first and then of course you can create products that match that. But that's for another video coming up later. So right now we want to make sure that your listing is as well optimized for search as possible and Etsy will rank you accordingly. If you've done a good job of putting the right keywords in your listing that match. So when that person puts in, what did I say? Oh, abstract ocean art print and yours pops up and it's the sort of thing they're looking for and they click through, Etsy's going to go one, you know, for you, right? This is a good plus for you. However, if you've got a keyword that comes up and the audience who's looking for that looks at it and goes, it's not really what I'm looking for, then that's not so great. So we've got to make sure that you use keywords and key phrases that really describe what you have on offer. So when someone's looking for something and yours pops up in the search, they go, yeah, that's potentially what I'm looking for and they go and have a further look. All right, so SEO is essential and it goes in all those parts, in the title, in the description, in the tags, in the, in the, everywhere in the listing basically. And you want to have, I think there's 13 tags you can have per listing. So you want to have done a bit of research. You're not going to make those up. You're not going to say, oh, wall art, abstract art, painting because that's going to waste your time and it's also going to not help you in Etsy search. You need to do some research. I will put some links below this video to take you to a couple of SEO tools specifically for Etsy. One is Marmalade um, that I personally use and a couple of others that you might find helpful. You can go and do a bit of a comparison on. You need to find out the right terms. So that's number three. So this is all about the customers. You want to do everything to make sure it's super easy for your customer to buy. So for example, make sure your shop policies are short and sweet and they're easy for the customer to use. You want to do things like, well, make a decision. Are you going to accept returns? Are you going to accept exchanges? What's the date of that? You don't want to make a complicated policy. Etsy's got all the standard things you really need. You can just go, yes, no, that's great, that's lovely. You want to make it easy for the customer to purchase. Make sure all the payment options are on so they can pay any which way they want to. And of course, most importantly, the shipping. Who hates to have to pay shipping when they want to buy something? I know I do. Puts me off buying. I look at a few things. I think the other day I was looking for some sort of amazing charcoal handmade soap, as you do. And there was one that the, the shipping was virtually the same price as the soap. And I thought, well, I'm not going to buy that. 
so I bought the one with free shipping. So we need to know that if you can possibly do it, and this goes back to what I've said in my previous video, which I've linked below this video, in the preparation area, you need to understand your prices and your pricing for profit. So check out the video below entitled Pricing for Profit, because if you've allowed enough in your pricing strategy so that you can offer free shipping, then that's gonna be a major win. Etsy loves it if you can offer free shipping, your customers love it too. We all love free shipping. It's easy. I'll have that item. Oh, great, free shipping. Oh, that's going to turn up in just a few days. If you can say that you can actually prepare it in one to three days, that's going to be another little kind of edge that will make people buy. Whereas if it says it's going to take two weeks, three weeks to get it ready for shipping, you're like, oh, I don't want to wait that long. I want it now, right? Someone's excited to buy your item on Etsy. They don't want to wait. They want it now. And of course, if you're going to do digital downloads, then they get it instantly, which is, of course, a massive win. I hope you've loved those four Etsy shop basics and, and found those super helpful. If you have done, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up because it really helps other people like you to see more of my videos. And I'd love to find out about your Etsy shop. So do put a comment below with a link to your shop so we can take a look because I love to have a look at other people's Etsy shops as well. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.